dancing around with celebrities that don't care about you. Hold on. Fuck that life. Cut the crap. I'm going to say what it is. You made a mistake. I'll tell you why. We're not seeing... This guy's not going to fucking no, no, let no. up, bro. We're not seeing the people that lost their jobs following your rhetoric. People that actually are in debt from your rhetoric. We're not seeing as well people that actually have opportunities that were lost from the Jew talk and all that stuff. We're not seeing none of that shit. I see it. Also, opportunity-wise, we go to events. You know what they say? You can't be in here. And I have to be like, yo, you know what? Fuck that. He's a good person, da-da-da. And it's like... You're saying this, but you don't tell them the, the bad side of it. It is what it is. But this is what they did to me, too. This is the same band that I see what's happening to Candace. And I want to say free Candace Owens. That's it's very unfortunate to see. But I think yeah. she's going to get banned on YouTube very soon. Uh, you think they're going to ban her? Or maybe they're going to do what they happen to you. But when I got banned on YouTube, it yeah. was the same thing. Yeah, I just got hit with like a bunch of warnings at once. I got hit with a bunch of strikes all at once. They started taking on all these videos, and then it was just gone. I had uh, only one strike at the time, and then they just hit me with everything. And it was very clear that they, they wanted to get me off the platform. So Which, interestingly identical. enough, two of those things that you got banned for are no longer violations on YouTube. Yeah. Talking about the election and the jab jab. Yeah, the medical misinformation. Yeah. What? What's up? I just think um, these platforms have agendas and Here we go. they have rules. And if you don't follow the rules, you're out. It's that simple. Yes. However, let's be fair here. In a house, you have guests that come every now and then. Some stay longer than they should stay, but they're here anyway. And you have favorites. You have your favorite guests, and you're not so favorite guests like, like Sneeko. And as a result, they come to your house, and you're like, you know what? Play ball. Have fun. The ones that I like, I'll give you some warnings. You know what? Take your shoes off. Put them, <laughs> in, put them, put them by the front door. You know what? You got your shoes on, get out of my house. This is a very simple example. But I'm gonna can, give you... Can, you, can you land the plane? The point is, is that these companies have favorites. And if you're not a favorite, you're out. Either by something that you did that is kind of a gray area, or they may say, eh, this person I don't like at all. Just do ban him for this, this, and this, and make it very vague. And that's it. That's all it takes. Someone off like you. It's your tweets, it's your content, and then say, get them out of here. That's how it works, bro. Their platform. So. Do you think you said something we don't know? Huh? We're, we know this. No, you don't. You went all got banned. Okay. That was two <laughs> years ago? Like, and you, also, when I was speaking about it, I knew what the risk I was taking. But then, but then if you knew that, then that was dumb. Okay, you realize that people, some people need to do this. Some people need to put things on the line, just like the guy you had earlier. Yeah. The whistleblower who's going to, might, he might lose his job to tell the truth. Well, Sneeko, I agree with you. So, but what you're saying, like, you keep saying as if we don't know that there's favoritism on social media. Everybody knows this, but some people are going to tell the truth regardless. And if you don't have those people, the truth never gets out there. Well, guess what? When you're Ben, your voice, what does it do to your voice? You're saying things that are so obvious that we know it gets suppressed and you have to go to different platforms, but the platforms are still there. But the thing is, you know this, you still did it. Yes. Okay. So what but are you saying? Some people might not know this that are making content. Everybody so, knows. No, they don't. I, I talk about the band if, quite a bit. If they did, they wouldn't be banned. Do you think Candace Owens didn't know that there's favoritism on social media? No, no. What I'm saying is that like they don't like you. That that's the point I'm trying to make here. So if you're not following their agenda. And they don't like you. That's when you're fucked. Okay, who do you think doesn't know that that got banned? A lot of people don't know. Can you name one who got banned? Who's telling the truth? Well, I won't say their name, but someone close to us that we know very well. Okay, that, that was in Romania. I just think that people need to hear what's happening behind the scenes. And if they don't hear it, then they make content. Oh, I'm gonna do what these guys do. Right. But there's a risk involved with it. You're changing your point. You're saying that we shouldn't tell the truth so that we cannot get so no, that no, no. we don't get what censored. What I'm saying is, if you end up Making content that's not what they want you to say. They will ban you. We yes. know this, right? But yes. some people have to do that regardless. No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We can we can disagree. Not everyone wants to be a martyr, bro. And <laughs> so you don't have to be a martyr. I'm saying if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But yeah. don't try to say that like it's something we don't know. People need to tell the truth regardless of what the the consequences are. You know, people want to make RP content, right? They want to become RP RP content creators, and they say, "Oh, Myron, fresh. How do I do it?" And we're like, "Yo, just so you know this, when you go into it." You may lose money, you may lose your, lose, lose your channel, you may lose friends, and maybe even, you know, your girl. And they say, you know what? I'm good. I don't want to do it no more. 
but they didn't know this coming into it. So I'm, I'm saying to the public, just so you understand, you follow this pattern, you follow this path, it can happen to you. What's wrong with that? Okay, but you're saying it to me as if like I didn't know this before. You're like you didn't know this, no, and you, you should. You know what I'm looking at you right now. You, you say it like like, it's like you say it like we, we shouldn't have you done were, it. No, no, we both know you were warned, and you still did it. And then yes, but but they, they should know so that they can make, they can make a choice. Okay, most these people are not going to be content creators. How do you know? Okay, you don't know the, the bigger point is that no matter what happens, tell mm -hmm. the truth. Do not let these people hold your balls and let you and decide what you believe is true and what's not as true. Who are these people? The pe okay, fresh. We know the people that run the platforms. See, this is why I differ from your opinion and your your thoughts because I think everyone should make a choice. It doesn't have to be always. Go down this path and be a martyr. I think you can you choose. You don't to... have to be a martyr. No, no, but you're saying. No, I'm, no, I'm not saying you have to do that. At all costs and ruin, ruin things for Some yourself. Some people need to do that. Yeah, but not everyone. Okay, so, so you I'm making, don't have I'm to. I'm making an argument for people that don't want to do this shit. Okay. Is, is that okay? Then then if you guys don't want to tell the truth, that's okay. That's but fine. Yeah. I'm saying you're you're shaming no, it in a way. I'm telling the truth. You're, you're that's, that's fine. Yeah, but your, your rhetoric is that you're shaming it away. Like, you should have done this. You could have made more money. You could have you could have had Twitter. You could have had Snapchat. You could have had YouTube, whatever. You lose it, and then you still do it anyway. You still succeed regardless. And that's good for you. Oh, so then why do you keep bringing it up as if it's something that I, like I made a mistake? Well, what do you think? I just told you what I think four times in a row. I don't think I made a mistake. I think I did the right thing. I think you made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> do you see, like, do you, but, but listen, do, do you listen, hear him looping? Listen, no, no. Do you, do you hear we him looping? We disagree on this, on, on this part. Okay. And the part is... You did things that you want to do. You, you paid a price for it. So then it. how is that a mistake if I did what I want to do and I'm happy with the decisions and I told the truth? What did I ask you, what did I ask you before the show? I asked you, if you could go back in time and think about what happened if you didn't do or get banned on And YouTube. what did I answer you off the show? Okay, that's changed from when I asked you back in the day. Before, you're like, fuck. I wish I didn't get banned on YouTube. It's difficult, I, of course. But, but that's what I'm saying. Some people don't want to lose their channel or lose their, their livelihood. And... God for God for then, sake. Then you guys can go twerk and do OnlyFans content, and then just like run around on Twitch and like then do that. Well, guess what? <laughs> then do that. There's kind there's Kaisenat, people there for there. Speed, Playboy Max, all these face people, they made a choice to do it a different way. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad thing. Okay, so you could decide: Do you want to make more money and then not tell the truth and not have convictions, or do you want to tell the truth regardless and make a difference in the world? If you want to make more money and run around with celebrities and sell your soul, that's fine. It's really a choice of: Do you want to sell your soul or not? I would rather tell the truth. I don't. My soul is not for sale. And that's if okay. you want to sell it, okay. But that's not. A, you should not say it's a mistake to have conviction. See, you you change your opinion nowadays. When like, I've never changed my opinion about this. I asked you this when we were in the UK, and someone warned you, and we spoke about on the phone about it. You were there too as well. Two years ago, the day I got banned. Yes. 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 Yeah, it was difficult. But, but that's what I'm saying. So I did. I never regretted anything that I've done telling the truth. I've never told you that. And I've never said that. I don't know why you believe that, bro. I don't. I never forget anything. What did I say? You want me to tell people what happened in that room? I can say it right now. I'll say it. It was me, Luke Belmar, his brother. Uh, mine wasn't there, and yeah, Tristan I don't, I don't, yeah, and I don't Andrew. Remember. He that asked, was before I got banned. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm giving mm -hmm. the, the full context here, right? And they warned me. And you're you're going to yap for five Lube minutes. About warned you yes, you warned me. About what's going to happen? And I did not and care. You, understandable. Okay. Then we were shopping, me, you, and Musa, in the UK. You got an email or a text or something like that. You got banned. You were instantly like, fuck. And like anybody will be. You were like, damn, like quiet as a mouse. Understandable. I'll be, I'll be the same way too. Then I was like, fuck, bro. What are you going to do now? Remember Luke told you, you're like, I don't know. Understandable. Then I asked you a little later on, do you, do you regret doing this? You said no. But you did say, wish it didn't happen because things would be different. You'd probably be further ahead. Okay, so you just proved my point. Huh? <laughs> you just proved my point. I never regretted the decisions I no, made. No, no, no. You said, you, said, you said verbally you didn't regret it, but I could see it. You did. Even though you didn't say it. <laughs> Bro, I was there. You, you could see then, the, the words in my eyes? Yeah, bro, obviously it was bro, a difficult situation. Bro, you were freaking out. Yes, of course. Things get. Di I'm sure Candace is freaking out right now. I'm it, sure Chris is freaking out. I'm sure Pavel Durov in jail is freaking is out right point. now. Not everyone wants to go through that bullshit. If you don't want to go through difficult situations because you don't care about telling the truth, then that's fine. No, no, no. 
But so hold on. By your argument, everyone on here is just you know what? Make a channel on YouTube. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not saying that. That wasn't my argument. No, no. I'm telling you. I'm saying some saying. people need to do it. No, that's fine. Then but do not, not call the people that do it. Do not shame them and say you made a mistake. I didn't shame them. I shame you. Okay, so I'm in that category. Don't say that I made a mistake because no, no. I never said no, that no, no, and no. I do not believe that. Hold on, hold on. You and I both know, if you didn't get banned on YouTube, where you be today? It, it probably Is running around with OnlyFans whores in no, LA. No, 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 no. Is that what the life no, that no, you no, that no. you want people to live? You're putting in a context because you want to make it look bad. We no, that, that's what I would be doing. That's prob If I was a mainstream YouTuber, I would be making nonsense content, selling a lie, not telling the truth. Some people need to do it. If I had stayed on YouTube, would I have made more money? Maybe. Would I be like have more industry connection? Would I be at a Diddy party and a Mike Rubin party? Maybe. But is that worth trading for what I have now? No. And like you said earlier, the most important thing is a connection to God. That's something that I've been able I to agree. find. If I was still had all the mainstream connections and I still was like doing the dance that they want you to dance to, would I have a connection with God? Maybe not. So do not say I made a mistake. I, you're like doing the smirk thing, but it's it's a silly argument you're making. You know why I think that's bullshit? Why? I know you very well, Snicko. I knew for quite a while. You go from genre to genre based on how it benefit you in, in the moment, right? What, what did you say? You go from, you go from genre to, to genre, <laughs> which is like the, I want to say, not genre, but like different types of like content based on your current situation. For example, you did the stuff about being free-spirited where you can be creative and Give your opinions on topics, and I still do. I just made a documentary and then about you went from that to Red Pill, and I'm still here and, on a Red Pill podcast right now. No, no, but you just talked shit about us the other day, and then I didn't talk shit about you. No, the Red Pill, Red Pill itself. Yeah, I've been talking shit about the vasectomy thing for over a year. Yeah, but you were in the same group. Anyway, that's I'm still here. I'm still on your podcast right now. No, but there's no girls here. The point is, you go from topic to topic. I'm just saying, if you were still on YouTube, I guarantee you, you say the whole thoughts in the OnlyFans thing. That may be a component. But that would not be the only thing that you do on, on uh, YouTube, right? Okay. I, so, 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 so I'm just trying to say, opportunity comes at a cost. That cost, <laughs> I think, in person, personal opinion, it's not worth it. For some people, it's not. Okay. So why am I going to tell them? Yeah, go be a martyr, tell the truth, and get banned for what? Okay. Unless you want to, we're, we're then going, go ahead. We're going in circles. The but, point is, some people need to do it, and if you don't want to, that's fine. Okay. But don't shame the people. We should be encouraging the no, people. No, I'm shaming you. You should. We should be encouraging the people. Like when the guy comes on and he risks his job. I did. Okay. So, so what is the shame with me? What? Do, what is your? I'm just showing you. Okay. So you're just yapping like one of the horrors who come on the panel well, just for also content. Also, because I think personally, you could have been way different, but that's just my opinion. Because I know people that support you. I know certain things behind the scenes. I want some <laughs> camera, but it's like, I just think you could have been huge, bro. Okay. You keep saying that, but. You can't change what happened. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. So w why do you keep saying that? Because we both know you could have stopped it. Okay, so what is the point of saying this now? So that everyone can see watching here, they have a choice to make. Either you can tell the truth at a cost or make content and go on You, you realize I'm still making the content that I was making during my, my like creative era. I just made a documentary in Bosnia. I think it's some of the best work I've made. You know, and, and that's something I maybe wouldn't have the finances, maybe I wouldn't have the, the knowledge to make it mm -hmm. if I was still on YouTube. I not, I, nothing was really taken away. Actually, I, I would advise people, if you have real convictions and you believe in something, tell it no matter the cost. Say the truth and having that, like me rejecting the gambling deal that they offered, I take more pride in that. I'm more happy with myself and my soul than having the $20 million. What are you really going to do with that extra money? What, you can't take it with you when you die. What's more important is that you know you did the right thing and the people around you are proud of you. Tell the truth. Do the right thing. Don't sell your soul. So you're telling me if I don't go on camera... And I it doesn't just, it's not just about podcasts. It's about any any aspect of life. Like the guy who came on and risked his job. He's coming here and he's he's telling the truth about what happened in, in the immigration in the US and US customs. And now he's gonna have that that pride and, and know with himself that I did the right thing. Even though every all everything all the cards were stacked against me, I chose to make the right decision. But what does he have by, by his back? We'll figure it out. No, oh, he has God. So okay. But th that's what I'm saying. That is the answer. If you're doing this willy nilly, what do you really have? Nothing. Are you disagreeing with me or not? <laughs> Nigga, I am! What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? I just told you. You have a choice to make. Either you make content. Right, I can't I can't do this anymore. I can't either, because right? you're going to loops. Are you, okay. Do you think I made a mistake, yes or no? Personally, I think so. 
Okay, then I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna try to convince. And also, you somebody that. else too as well. That sponsors you right now, but okay, let's let's move on. I don't think you made a mistake, bro. I think you did the right thing. I think if you had stuck on YouTube, more than likely you probably wouldn't have found God. You wouldn't have converted to Islam. You'd be a degenerate like Aiden Ross and Kai Sana, all these other fucking retards. You'd be doing dumbass content and uh, clip farming and stuff like that. And I think uh, you're definitely probably one of the younger streamers that's doing something positive and helping guys out versus being one of these stupid ass fucks. So I, I don't think you made a mistake at all. I think you did the right thing and you went ahead and stepped up and talked about a topic that's very censored that everyone is scared to talk about and brought awareness to it. Um, you introduced me to some people and I think that was, you know, forged some great relationships as well. And I was able to bring some of these people on our podcast and bring them out to the greater thing. So I think in general, no, man, I, I think you didn't make a fucking mistake at all. I think you did the right thing because had it not been uh, for you going down that path, you wouldn't have met certain people. You met those people. I met those people like Nick, etc. We had really great conversations, woke up a bunch of people. Every time I'm on Twitter, I get messages from people saying that we woke them up. It's a certain situation. Obviously, we're on Twitch, so I can't say it. But I think you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and this is something that a lot of people are not aware of. And I think it's it's great, right? Especially with what's going on in the world right now and our foreign policy and being an election year. People are more educated on it. So, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think you made a mistake. No, I appreciate that. And that's more valuable. Like, I've, I've made money. I've been around celebrities but every, like, th there's nothing because uh, everyone in your age group is a retard, bro. And there's something of That's value in there. Like, yeah. I've I've been not like that. Degenerate life does not it does not fulfill you at all. There's no, there's nothing there. Like having yeah. more money, you could see there's examples of famous streamers and, and famous celebrities. They don't know what to do. They have no purpose. They just exist. They sell like shit products that are terrible for people. They promote things that are negative for the world, and they fall asleep at night and they know that they're doing something that's negative for the world. Just now, when I was in the gym right before the show, someone came up to me, and he's like, yo, bro, I watch uh, Fresh and Fit in the Tates. Like, it's good to be, and they, like, he's motivated and stuff, and he's a young guy. He's like, he pointed out the window, and he saw his car and stuff like that. And you can see that this guy's fired up, and he was motivated. That stuff is way more valuable than making more money and, like, dancing around with celebrities that don't care about you. Hold on. Fuck that life. Cut the crap. I'm going to say what it is. You made a mistake. I'll tell you why. We're not seeing... This guy's not going to fucking no, no, let no. up, bro. We're not seeing... The people that lost their jobs following your rhetoric, people that actually are in debt from your rhetoric, we're not seeing as well people that actually had opportunities that were lost from the Jew talk and all that stuff. We're not seeing none of that shit. I see it. Also, opportunity-wise, we go to events. You know what they say? You can't be in here. And I have to be like, yo, you know what? Fuck that. He's a good person, da-da-da. And it's like, you're saying this, but you don't tell them the, the bad side of it. There's a, there's a bad side to it. That is not money. No, he's been oh, pretty transparent monetary. about that, bro. He's no, been no, transparent no, no. about the bullshit there, that he's more dealt that, with. We have to. No, no, there's more that I didn't yeah, say. talk about all this stuff. No, no, uh, I can go into more detail. So then, it comes up to the point of, okay, here's the truth. I'll say it out loud. The cost of it is, though, is that people that are close to you, that appreciate it, get affected. You want to talk about it? What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. I mean, I can say some things, but I, you, you want a camera? A what, what are you talking? Are you trying to air out my personal life, or what? what do you, I don't. Want, I, I, so, so then, what are you saying right now? We have talks in the past. He told me some things that I don't ever repeat. So then, why are you saying this right now? Because you're telling them something. That's not genuine. Okay, Fresh, like, do you not understand? If you work a nine-to-five job, don't just start talking about the Jews in the office space. Stop it. See, that's what, that's what I'm saying. You're telling them to go fight for honor, fight I for the truth. I just said... I, and then when they lose their job, it's like, oh, but Stinko said to go do this. Yeah, but he didn't tell you that you might lose your job. Okay. Having, I mean, hold on, he has a wife and kids. Hold on, wait, hold on. You don't hold understand wait, the point of on. what I'm speaking about. He has a wife and kids. Okay. And has no job. So now, what does he do? Am I telling people to crash out and like lose their job? No, I'm saying have convictions and do what you, you think is right. just said to them, go and speak the I just truth said, don't at do all that. costs. Yo, I'm there, gonna go crazy here. There's different levels of. Oh, there's no point of doing Thank you. that. Thank you. In the dentist office, there's no point in talking about Israel. That doesn't have an effect. Well, guess what they're doing? That doesn't. They're people doing aren't doing that because of my streams. What are you talking about, bro? We. Do you think people are just talking about feminism in the off, like at HR? Yes, they. Are. Bro, I am outside. I'm with the people. I'm places. Your places too. Mm. 
They tell stories about what happens. The, the bigger thing, rather than just talking about what controls the world, is doing what you think is right regardless. Say they make you an offer, like you can make $10 million more if you sell alcohol, for example, and you say, no, I have convictions, I don't want to poison the world, and you take a different job. That's what I'm speaking about. Don't sell your soul here. It doesn't mean go crash out and scream and yell about Zionism all day long. There's different levels of conviction. And uh, How do you not understand this? See, not everybody is a streamer. Doing what you think is right and doing what you're supposed to do and making the world a better place is bigger than just streaming. Well, then say that. Because when you say... How do you not understand that? Do you think that there's just content creators watching this? Well, hold on, hold on. You just said they do it in a workplace, they do it at home, they do it in place of business. When you do that, what are they doing? Destroying their lives. To okay. be honest, they t- should, t- tell them You shouldn't they just should do destroy that. your life. But then t- tell them that. Do you, it, do you think that these people are retarded? Well, no offense to you, but your audience sometimes... They'll go and do that stuff in public. And then it's like... Oh, well, give me one example of this happening. <sighs> do you need to call names on camera? <laughs> See, I, this is where I'm going to start because I don't want to call out names on camera. But we've been in a situation where like, people complain that, yo, listen, bro, like, I love your stuff, but like, that was my job. And it's like... That's happened with somebody in my audience? You yes, have an bro. example of that happening? I won't say here, but yeah. And year, I have. Why have you heard about this and I've never heard about one instance of somebody losing their job because of sneaker well, content? Well, you've lost other stuff, Sneeko. Remember when you were in Vegas? You want to be somewhere? Okay, Fresh, can you just cut the shit? Cause just like stop speaking in codes. I'm trying and, not just, to say just, on just say what the fuck is you're, the are point. you thinking I'm, about. I'm not trying to talk okay, on camera. Okay, we were at Power Slap. It was live on stream. Everybody saw it. You don't need to keep on doing like riddles. Okay, we saw what happened. Not just that though. <laughs> okay, the, the, I'm not having a conversation with someone who's just gonna like. Yeah, speak Fresh, if you're gonna say it, you just, just gotta say it, like, bro. What the just, fuck? Just you, say it if that's it's, what it's it is. Because you bring it up and then you do this. It's like. It, 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 you know, and if you but, don't want to say it, that's but, fine. Then but we the can just is, move on. I already made my point. Because I don't even know what you guys are talking about. I know, but I remember. With a lot of this stuff. I made my point. I don't, I'm not sure what your point is. The point is, tell them the truth. If you say this stuff in public. Mm. That was your point out after all this. Don't lose your job talking about no, Jews I'm, and the dentist's office. I'm saying the truth <laughs> is needed, but not everyone has to burn their bridges. For the truth. Right. The, the overall point is have He did say some people got to do it. He didn't say everybody. He said that earlier. No, I did too. Okay. And, and then you were you said so you I made agree. a mistake. No. For you specifically, yeah. Me specifically, I made a mistake. I, I think so. Okay. That's it. Yeah, but you, you haven't provided any substantial evidence for why I made a mistake. Like, I, I'm in a good position financially. I still have access to my platform. still able to do what I love doing. I, I'm, I'm very blessed. Um, my family's like, where, where have I made a mistake? Where, like, if I made a mistake, there'd be something wrong in my life or something missing or something that I wish that I had. And I, there's nothing, there's zero regret for anything I've done. That's good. So is it really a mistake then, bro? No, because of where he is now. But back then, I was less successful when I was still on YouTube. I know. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, let's just move yeah, on. He's doing better now without YouTube. I know. So how's that a mistake? Well, dude, what are you talking about? <sighs> I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, bro, I don't think you're, you made a mistake, man. I think, I, like I said before, had you not been... Bro, Fresh, I, I, Fresh will win an argument in his head because he thinks of a point without saying it. Like, yeah, I mean, what I are think, you talking no, about? I'm protecting people that are not on camera. That's, that's all I'm doing. Bro, you're not, like, CIA. Like, you always talk about, like, Illuminati rooms and stuff. <laughs> Just say what the fuck you're thinking. It's, this is... I, I, we're on a podcast. Did. I already did. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. All right, I'll get my take. I don't think you made a mistake. Had you not gotten off of YouTube, you wouldn't have been resourceful and done other things and had other conversations and met other people. And meeting those people has definitely opened certain doors that might have not been available to you when you were on YouTube. And um, who knows what path you would have went down if you got more like and more Like the A24, and for example, like working with Kanye West, like that was like one of the dreams I had as, as a kid. That would not have happened if I was still on YouTube and I wasn't speaking about this. Like, yeah, right, you, would been scared, you would have been scared to even get on that whole thing. The connections that I've made with people after like post ban are way better than the connections that I had before. Like uh, Dan Bilzerian, for example, that's somebody that I've met through uh, speaking about this subject and speaking about this topic. So, so many people. Like, the, uh, there's, I think it's better. Like, uh, every. Every decision I've made and the path that my career has taken since then has, has been substantially better in every aspect. I would say that you're forging bonds with stronger, like a uh, stronger bonds versus like if you had like had the fame and clout. Like, then you have superficial been, like, bullshit. Would have been superficial yeah. bullshit, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, man. I I think, um, in my opinion, looking at it, I don't think you made a mistake. I think you did. You did 
what you felt like you want to do. And at the end of the day, it all boils down to can you go to sleep at night? And if you can go to sleep at night and be proud of what you do, that's that's what matters, man. It's I don't think money and fame is everything. But, um, you know, everyone has different opinions. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, that was a very unique conversation. And all I learned from that is that you guys talk quite a bit without me around. I don't. I don't We've had this that. debate like five times now. Yeah, yeah, but, like, you guys talk a lot when I'm not around because I'm, like, in here listening. Like, a lot of this shit is new to me. I'm like, what the fuck y'all talking about? I didn't hear none of this. So, anyway, but I guess that's all those times where I'm asleep and you guys go out. Um, yeah, because when we do, like, trips or whatever, guys, I, I sleep a lot. So I'll, like, be asleep and they'll, like, go out shooting or doing whatever the fuck they do. Um, where are we at here? 